Okay, David, in your capacity as the USAID Food Security Advisor, you participated in the recent UPSI meeting in Washington beginning of February. The United States are heading currently the G8. From your perspective, how important is UPSI currently in the food security debate for the G8 process and for the United States? Well, the AFSI group was originally set up to track the commitments that were made and at the G8 meeting in L'Aquila, Italy in 2009. <clears throat> and so the main task of the group is to keep track of the, uh, the financial commitments that the donors have made, the $22 billion that, that, are, that has been committed uh, to addressing food security over three years. So we're coming to the end of that three-year pledge period and the uh, <clears throat> so we're we're trying to put together the uh, the table that will be included in the G8 accountability report to show how well the donors have done on providing the fi financial commitments that they've made. Um, I think we've overall we're, we're doing well. Uh, it's very important to provide that accountability and to provide that transparency uh, as part of uh, the aid effectiveness agenda. And so we're happy to try and keep pushing that forward. Uh, we won't have all of the final data this year because some countries, for example, the United States and Australia, are um, <coughs> While they've made the commitments, they, because of their financial cycles, they're not able to complete the disbursements uh, within the same three-year time period. Mm -hmm. Okay, you've been going into that already. I was going to ask you that uh, UFSI contained the promise that donors would help the uh, developing um, and uh, implementing local food security strategies with the countries including financial commitments and commitments for technical assistance. In your view, how well are the donors doing with delivering on their commitments and how well has UFSI responded to the latest developments? I think on the financial commitments, we're, we're doing well. Um, I think there's um, yeah, the it took some time to to clarify exactly what those commitments were, uh, but now that we've done that, I think it's just a matter of continuing to track our disbursements. Um, the non-financial commitments in, in many ways are equally, if not more important. Uh, many of those were captured in the Rome principles um, that were adopted at the uh, World Summit on Food Security a couple of years ago. Uh, they include, uh, importantly, working uh, with our partner countries uh, and aligning our assistance with what they identify as their priorities. And so uh, we are, that's a, I, I think the AFSI forum provides uh, one of the few places where we can actually meet and discuss how well we are doing and on those commitments and as the head of the G8 this year, that's certainly something that the United States intends to keep at the top of the agenda. Mm -hmm. So building on to that, do you think that UFSI actually um, evolved from what was originally the L'Aquila initiative? Uh, the, yes, it has evolved. I think originally the focus was almost exclusively on the financial commitments and now we've We've moved beyond that. We've not only expanded the, the scope of the discussions within the group, we've expanded the participation, uh, the number of countries uh, and the geographic range of the countries that are participating. Um, we'd like to, to have even more active participation, particularly from uh, emerging economies and developing economies. Uh, but um, it's now, now one of the um, initiatives that we've been pushing forward in AFSI uh, that um, uh, that the donor platform has been helping, the members of the global donor platform have been helping with is um, uh, an initiative on uh, <clears throat> managing for development results. And we agreed at this AFSI meeting in February that 
uh, that we would carry that project forward. We would, um, uh, working with IFPRI, we would do uh, case studies in three or four countries uh, by the end of the year to look at exactly how we can implement uh, the Managing for Development Results Agenda. Mm -hmm. Now, looking into the future a bit and on the further progress that you envisage, uh, you've said already that uh, that the Washington meeting has been viewed as quite successful. So from your perspective, how are the results going to be fit into the upcoming meeting in Chicago in terms of progress from one meeting to the other? What's the road ahead? Well, the um, the table on financial commitments is being finalized uh, with the assistance of the OECD DAC. Uh, that will be fed into the G8 accountability report. Uh, in addition, we have agreed to um, the donors in AFSI have agreed to provide more detailed data on their spending on agricultural research for development. So we are in the process now uh, of working uh, within a small working group to put together a table uh, that would show how much donors are spending currently on agricultural research for development. So that would be a, a new tracking tool that we could use uh, and that we hope will also be included in the G8 accountability report. Okay. So now to wrap this up now, what do you think is the single most important thing that would need to be done now for the UFC group for, for the food security issue? Well, <clears throat> I think the AFC group, um, we had a very good discussion in February about the future of the AFSI group now that the, the pledge period for the financial commitments is coming to an end. And there was uh, almost a uniform agreement that the group is very constructive, very useful. One of the few places that donors uh, can get together with other stakeholders and with um, uh, with other economies, other countries, and talk about uh, aid, the aid effectiveness agenda and the, the actual implementation of the aid effectiveness agenda. So I see some very good synchronicity between the AFSI group and the Global Donor Platform. In fact, many of the focal points for the Global Donor Platform participate in the AFSI group. So there's very good overlap there. <clears throat> and uh, I think it's very important uh, that we continue this dialogue on uh, on managing for development results and, and on aid effectiveness. Um, and, and I think that the the group will have to decide how it uh, what its future will be, and we'll come back to that discussion at the next AFSI meeting in the fall. Uh, but uh, clearly, there's there's great interest uh, in continuing this dialogue. Okay. Thank you very much, David. All right. Thank you, Pascal.